right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here. We would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming a middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pereira represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the ex-murderer, Wanderlei Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Israel, the last guy of out of sight! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, always interesting to see the early portions of an Israel Adesanya fight. You know how electric a striker this is. You know how proud New Zealand is to have him as a Kiwi in the UFC. But a lot of fighters are going to try to take him down and punish him on the ground. Not a lot of fighters are going to have success with that. Let's see how the opposition chooses to attack Adesanya here tonight. shots over and over again to that area and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh effective strike there by Vanderlei Silva. He needs to get on the bicycle John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Could do it. An uppercut 
Big right hand. So fight a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing the ton, just looking to recover. Just over two minutes to go. Silva's in half goal. There it is. Now he's going to mouth. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Guard for him here, and a lot of the offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, go posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down first. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crystal oh, two strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Oh, he's got his hurt here. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys. He's going to Oh, big left. We might get a stoppage here soon. So specifically that right side has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game. Not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong strike. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. He cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya.
All right, so Israel Adesanya, your winner by TKO. A lot of people didn't give him a chance to put this dude away. Put him away, all right. He was confident that he can get the job done. He thought that he could finish this fight, and that's exactly what he did. 